नमस्ते मेरा नाम है डॉक्टर कोहेली भट्टाचार्य और आज का वीडियो होगा ऑन स्क्रीन टाइम नाउ स्क्रीन टाइम एंड आईज हैव अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च अराउंड इट एंड अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट पेरेंट्स हैव सो इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर व्हाट आर द फाइव थिंग्स दैट स्क्रीन टाइम कॉजेस इन द आईज व्हाट आर द गाइडलाइंस बाय डब्ल्यू एच ओ फॉर स्क्रीन टाइम फॉर चिल्ड्रेन हाउ मच स्क्रीन टाइम इज ओके फॉर चिल्ड्रेन एंड वॉट दे कैन डू वाई दे आर हैविंग द स्क्रीन टाइम टू रिड्यूस आई फटीक एंड आई स्ट्रेन and are blue light filters actually good for the eyes when they are watching screen time and what are the other things that you can do with screen time is screen time better or are books better and so much more inside this video so let us begin with what does screen time or excessive screen time cause in the eyes or generally so with screen time there are five things that can happen first is an increase in myopia number the second is it increases your eye strain third is it increases chances of dryness of eyes or dry eyes the fourth is increase in eye fatigue which is because of accommodation and convergence of muscles which are used in the eyes and the fifth is it disturbs your sleep wake cycle or sleep disturbances which also lead to dry eyes and eye problems so this is what excessive screen time does now what are the who guidelines for screen time so from the age of 0 to 2 who says that there should be absolutely no screen time for children except for video chatting with grandparents or parents why because this screen time is taking away from their uh, language skills from active learning time and uh, bond, uh, by video chatting with uh, parents and grandparents that time can be used for language building and social building and bonding now from 2 to 4 years the screen time should be 1 hour of co-watching what does 1 hour of co-watching mean that means the parent is watching with the child and this 1 hour is used for active learning uh, language building learning something good from the screen time that they have so this is the time when you can watch with your child and ask them questions around what is that what is that color how many people are there on the screen so this way they are using it for and learning purposes now after 5 so 5 to 17 the um, who guidelines is 2 hours of leisure uh leisure and sedentary uh screen time for recreation purposes so this is not active learning that means this is not the time that they are actively using the computer for their school projects and all so this is just sedentary uh time that they are using for recreation so these are the guidelines now even in this 2 hours how can you make it good for your child these are a few tips that there are the first is blink blink more often because children get so engrossed in seeing that they stop blinking and by blinking we are going to reduce the chances of dryness of eyes and also maintain <coughs> ocular hygiene the next thing is breaks so breaks meaning every 20 minutes the child should take about 1 minute break and look somewhere far with this breaks they, uh, they will be able to reduce the eye strain and eye fatigue because the eyes get fatigued looking at the same distance of the mobile or the computer so by asking them to look away look at something far or go and do something else every 20 minutes is going to be reducing their eye strain the next thing is good lighting good lighting is going to reduce the visual <coughs> Uh, the uh, the amount that they have to strain to see the uh, the screen and that is again one good point that there should be good lighting in the room so that the child is not straining the next point is posture many children there are many researchers that when they use a tab or a mobile or a, a screen like a laptop they tend to lie down and watch and that leads to postural problems like back problems and uh, neck problems and shoulder problems so having a good posture while they are watching the next point is the distance between the screen again there is research which shows that the distance is important and a minimum distance of 20 cm should be maintained and so uh, checking that the screen is beyond their elbow distance is one way of checking it or actually using one of the foot rulers and putting it at their chin and saying that the screen should not be coming uh, you know before like it should not be within this distance so that is one way that you can measure it the other points are uh, yes 
very important point is that they should not have any screen time one hour before bedtime which is for any age group even not just 17 years old but for adults as well so these are certain guidelines that you can use even when they are watching screens and another important thing is that using screen time for positive experiences and social interactions because too much screen time is also going to take them away from social interactions so social media when they use it for good positive experiences and social interaction in that way screen time can actually be a very gratifying way of uh, you know bonding with people now the next thing that I want to take you through is some of the research articles and research that has gone into this screen time. Uh, so the first thing is that there is a research by International Journal of Environment and Public Health published in 2020 by Yang et al. which says that screen time before three years of age leads to myopia. That means minus number glasses or short sightedness. So below three years that is why we should not have screen time. The next is an article which has been published in the British Journal of Ophthalmology in 2019 by Harrington which says that screen time before the age of 10 years leads to myopia. So again less than 10 years we want to keep their screen time less than 2 hours. The next thing is children holding the screen versus the book. So are books the same as screen time? So the backlighting from the screen and basically just using a screen, children and adults both tend to use the screen a little bit closer than they hold the books and this leads to increased visual demand and increased visual fatigue and this was studied in the Journal of Optometry 2021. Therefore, a book is slightly better than a screen. The next study is uh, done in Indian Journal, Journal of Ophthalmology in 2021 which says that just 30 minutes of reading on the smartphone and which can be for adults as well that just reading WhatsApp messages or reading your email on the mobile phone just for 30 minutes leads to an increase in eye fatigue. The next thing, the next study which has been done is between blue light filters. Now a lot of people are like should we put blue light filter glasses or should our child be wearing blue light filter glasses when they are watching the screen time. So the studies have been shown that the long term studies which are over one year have shown that there is no change in the glasses number and there is no um, you know it uh, wearing blue light filter glasses does not reduce the chances of getting minus number or myopia but what they have seen is that wearing blue light filter glasses has reduced the chances of glare fatigue and eye strain now what is the kind of blue light filter that you need to put for your child's glasses not the kind which they give you in the optical store when we talk about blue light filter that means it cancels out all the blue light and that means the screen is very yellow or uh, you wear yellow tinted glasses. So they are really yellow tinted when we say that it is a blue light filter. Truly blue light filter glasses will be yellow in color and if you cannot get it a very good option is to use the screens in night mode after sunset. So this increase in glare, eye fatigue, sleep disturbances are more when you use a screen time in a dark room or use the screen uh, after sunset. So in, uh, two ways to stop it is being, having more bright light when you are using your screen time and also turning your screens into the night mode. The next thing is holding. There is a research which has been done by the Anyang Childhood Eye Disease Study which was done in 2015 and in this study they have found that two things one is holding the book closer than 20 centimeters and using a, a screen time or you reading a book for more than 45 minutes can lead to an increased chance of myopia and this study was done in Chinese children. Now what does this mean? That means that it is not just the screen time which is important but also reading books anything which does near work which is for more than 45 minutes at a stretch is going to increase uh, chances of having high numbers so you need to be able to take this knowledge while the child is also reading storybooks or leisure books in school in classroom generally the child will be reading and also looking at the blackboard or looking at the teacher and this breaks their reading habit so they are reading a few lines and then they are seeing the teacher or the blackboard and so this reduces their continuously reading for 45 minutes and you want to create this kind of environment when your child is reading leisure books 
at home as well. So this is some of the research around myopia. The other thing now we want to say is that yes, you have stopped the screen time, but you want to do something more for your child. So one of the things you were like, yes, we are going to blink. We are going to give your child breaks. I'm going to wear a blue light filter glasses after sunset, which is your yellow glasses after sunset, or you're going to have yellow lighting, or you're going to have your screen on night mode after sunset, not during the day. During the day, you want the light to be normal. What else can you do? What else you can do is increase their outdoor sunlight time. So having more outdoor sunlight time actually has a beneficial effect on myopia. So what are the five things that screen time causes? The first thing is it increases the chances of myopia. How can you negate that? No, there is no research around carrots. So you cannot give your child carrots and hope that the screen time will be negated. What you can do is give them more outdoor sunlight time because outdoor sunlight time is protective. The other thing that uh, happens with uh, screen time is increased eye strain. How can you reduce that? You can give them eye exercises, simple eye exercises like looking to the left, looking to the right or just turning your eyes after screen time will help with a little bit of eye movement and reduce their eye strain. The next thing is cupping that is uh, rubbing your hands and cupping your eyes that also helps uh, you know give warmth to the eyes helps with the mebomian gland secretions and reduces your dry eyes. The next thing is uh, blinking and breaks which I already spoke about, blue light filter which I already spoke about, 20 minutes breaks and looking 20 feet away which is also called the 20-20-20 rule is another thing that they can do. Eye fatigue. Now eye fatigue is because of the, uh, the muscles which are inside the eye. So muscles which are used for accommodation, which change the size of your lens as well as convergence, which make the eyes look inwards when they are looking at a near thing. So accommodation and convergence exercises, which we also call vision therapy exercises to help in divergence, to help the uh, accommodative facility. So to looking far and near. So playing some kind of sports where the child is looking far and looking near or you can simulate sports activities by doing broad string exercises or by doing divergence exercises or by using uh, lifesaver charts or by uh, reading on a heart chart so or by using flippers so all of these will help you to reduce your accommodative uh, fatigue uh, the next thing is sleep disturbances which we already spoke about no screen time one hour before bedtime and this is for adults as children as well so I hope you got a lot of value from this video on screen time eyes I care and if you have any other questions you can leave it in the comments below share this video with school teachers with parents and with children as well